up, Race Game, and I was here here for another review of your ships video. You guys loved the second one, and you guys literally bombarded me with ships. I might won't be able to get to each one in this video, but we will see. So, first one is from Dan Codell. I think I chopped that up. Race Game and iOS. Jaunt him. Jaunt on him. Jaunt him. My aircraft here in Warshipcraft. Nice. A modern aircraft here, I can tell. What's the speed? 119 knots. That's really fast. Uh, I like the hull. The hull is really nice. Superstructure. I would, I would change it a little bit. I like it's, it's, it works. But I would go for like a, maybe a Nimitz class superstructure or the new Gerald R Ford aircraft here superstructure. Something like more advanced. But that still works. I like it. There's AA everywhere. He has missile launchers on the side, I think. Tomahawks. Nice. Here's another view of it. Fighters. I like where he put the Tomahawks. That's a really smart place to put it. But yeah, I like it. The paint job's really good. I like it. The hull is beautiful. I would give it a 9.5 out of a 9.6. It's that good. It's a really cool ship. Good job. Another one, Dan Cardell. Our game and hours, here's another one of my ships. The Ragnarok. 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 Clearly is a really OP ship. You try to make it really OP. It does look really OP. Uh, it reminds me of Yamato. He, yeah, he, they're like his one tower in the front, one tower in the back. It looks like the Yamato superstructure, but... Dang, look at all those guns. It's a lot of, there's AA, but not as, like... I would say pretty decent AA. Yeah, I really like it. It's really nice. That's a really cool aim. That's really cool how where all the barrels are fading. Good camera shot. Yeah, like literally every space is a gun. That'd be a pain to reload. The hull's really nice. Uh, I like it. I'm gonna give it a uh, 9 out of 10. Very really nice. Anonymous Endor. My next ship for you to review, RNS Seattle. What does RNS stand for? She has unmatched AA. Now for real, because last time I complained about how his A he said his first ship's A was unmatched, I said not really. Now he made this one and he said now for real. I didn't judge of that. High speed and a very high, very heavy second arrangement. Armament, I think. Or armament, yeah. Yeah. A is better. A is better. He used one of those he used shorter. Short, the short barrel flat guns, those are really good. Mark 12 guns, they're cool and all, but they don't perform as much. Really nice, I like it. The hull is beautiful. The paint bot, the paint job is great. The superstructure is amazing. And he added uh, I would either change those torpedo tubes to the two barrel ones, because those are better, clearly. Yeah, I like it. The hull is really nice. Give it a 7 out of a 7.5. Good job. Uh... He has the same ship, just some angles of... He said... Okay, he said that, um... If I had to fly into this AA, I would be like, screw life RN. What does RN stand for? Uh... I won't... I mean... Yeah, it's good. Well, I think the most... The worst AA I had to fly in was probably Yamato's. That's... There's a lot of AA guns on that one. Our game in RNS Cambridge is a powerful battle cruiser. But she is made for taking on cruisers only. Her armor is light, but she's really fast. How fast is she? 40.2 knots. Really fast, really fast. I like the dreadnought look of it. Really World War One. Superstructures are really nice. I like it. Uh, yeah, I will be able to kill cruisers. Pretty good aid as well. He's starting. Zarn, a lot of you use those shorter flat guns. Anonymous Endor probably doesn't want me to complain about the AA anymore. I like it. 7 out of 8. Good job. Based on the... Oh, this is the sister ship. It's slower. Okay. Yeah, you know, AA is approved. I like it. Same thing, 7 out of 8. Superstructure the same. Uh, a little bit different. I like it. Really nice. 
next one, another Animus Endor, but it's the first ship in built in Naplecraft. Our NS Philadelphia is a fast, decently armored, powerful ship, very versatile in battle. Yeah, Hazor. This time is not that great. Hazor, not that great. But taking down other battleships, yeah. Uh, he decided he's a 38 centimeter Italian guns. I would recommend you if you want to send me this, use the same ship, change the hull, and make it have the, the Iowa guns. Those are really powerful. Those are, I think, the best except the Yamato guns. But it costs gems. Uh, I like it. I wouldn't say unmatched. I don't like. Uh, I. It's weird how you used three different size boilers. It looks nice. I think I would I would just get rid of the middle one, but yeah, it works. It works. Uh, I would give it a nine out of ten. Really nice. Uh, okay, this one's from G W E L S O H D, the first ship in the Ellison Navy, a battleship E N S. What does that stand for? Admiral Elso. Who is that? The ship that ate all my gold away. Enjoy. Okay. Paint job, blue and green. Eh, I would change it just red and get rid of the green. That will make it look nicer. First off, the main battery guns. Superstructure is really nice. I like the superstructure, but I would get rid of the gun on top. That makes no sense. Uh, a boiler is nice. I like how he made it a superstructure on the top. The, the places where you're, he put the secondary armament is really nice. Uh, there's, I, there's no back gun. Hold up. No back gun. Uh, yeah, there's no back. Oh, well, there's one. I would, I would, uh, well, I know you, this is your first ship, you ran out of gold. If you get enough gold, replace those two guns and add the main armament guns. Oh, uh, I like it. I would give it a 6 out of 8. I would just get rid of the top barrel and uh, the back doesn't really need open, open bridge blocks. It might, but yeah, I like it. Really nice. Just get rid of some of the things that are, don't make sense on the ship, and it works really nice. The chemistry nerd, please feature the ship in a video. Well, guess what? You're getting featured. I love this ship. I use it for everything. First off, the color scheme is, eh. I, don't like, I it's. I know. I it looks like it's supposed to be an OP ship. I would give it a plus on power definitely it's good for grinding because i saw where's tom Hawks? i saw tom Hawks, i think yeah up there i would say in an uh op type of like trying to destroy stuff yeah i would give it a plus but looks not that great no superstructure yeah it's more of like a grind platform in my opinion super battleship yeah a little bit more decoration i would give it Okay, so in in power, I would give it a 10 out of 10. In looks, 5 out of 10. Our gaming for your ship reviews. The infamous naval builds. Naval craft builds. First off, really beautiful. Alright, I can give that to him. I like how he uses the British superstructure. I can tell that's from the Prince of Wales. like it. He changed it to have Iowa guns. The HMS Conqueror. Conqueror. Good question, Neo Builds. How do you get the sky to be like that and the ocean to be like that? Good question. I like it. I think it's supposed to be a modern ship, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Like a modern battleship. No, I think I'm wrong. Well, wrong or not, it's really nice. 10 out of 10 on looks. It's amazing. From Dan Cadell again. Newest ship in my fleet. You might like it. You sure about that? I'm gonna judge of that. And I do like it. Oh my god. It, yeah, because if you know, has been if you guys have been long fans of my channel, you guys know I like World War II ships. Come on, World War II ships. Superstructure is really nice. That's a really nice superstructure. Yeah, the hull is really beautiful. The color scheme is amazing. Oh my god, the places where you put the AA guns are great. Wow. Oh, that's genius. Put the... I don't know what the Brit... The, what do you call it? He put the thing upside down to make it look nice. I don't know. It's right. 
right there where I'm zooming at. Use the Italian guns. It's really nice. The sugar structure, the A, it's really nice. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay, this might be the last one from Anonymous and or another configuration for the RNS Philadelphia. Is it the same? No. I think you use different guns, I think. Okay. Uh a defense, not I would say it's not that great. However, the superstructure and where he put all the guns and stuff are really nice. Really nice ship. RNS Philadelphia, I give you a 7 out of 8. Very nice. I like how he's doing like Forest Fleet, it's all the same color. They almost look the same. I wanna see an aircraft carrier. Each fleet needs an aircraft carrier. So Anon Sandor, if you're still watching, aircraft carrier. Next time, I wanna see an aircraft carrier. Okay, last one for today is Emera Fan. Or game review of my fleet. Okay, first one from our okay. Superstructure, it's a really nice superstructure. However, the hall needs work. The hull might need a little bit of work. It's a little bit flat. However, and a little bit more A. Like, some on this side. This side's kind of plain. It's really nice, though, where you put all the... Where the guns are at. The bridge. And superstructures. Just need work on the hull. And A's on the side. I would give it a 5 out of 8. Five, no, not 5 out of 8. I would give it a 6 out of 8. 6 out of 8. Okay, this one's from Naval Craft. Again, the hull needs a little bit of work. Superstructure, the box. You, know, you, you work on the superstructure. It doesn't look that great. It needs a mass too. Uh, a little bit too square, but good job for effort. I would give it a, again, six out of eight. Pretty good. Need a little bit more A though. And yeah, a little bit of work on the hull. And the last one, HMS Krako. Krako. Hmm. It's a little bit more of a cargo ship. Like a cargo ship, like. I would say it, it's like an armed cargo ship. The superstructure is nice again. Wouldn't make sense if it guns on top though. Radar. Replacement with a radar, where you built the radar is really nice. But the hull is okay, and a little bit work, and armed cargo ship. It's not like a battleship, it's like more of an armed cargo ship. Okay, another one for Gauso HD. Second ship in the Ellison Navy, the ENS Fish and Fish and, Fish and Chips. Pour it in, she's a light, sure, fast escort. Oh. Uh, the hole is too, it needs work. The hole needs work. We'll do blocky. The engines are way too big just for it. Uh, it's really slow. 7, 7, 35.2 knots. Kind of slow for destroyers. Destroyers go a little bit faster. Uh, a little bit more work in the hull. I like the superstructures and where the guns are placed. Yeah, I would give it a... The torpedoes. The destroyers should have torpedoes on the side, mostly. I would give it a 6 out of 8. Okay, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, hopefully we reach 500 at the end of this month. We're so close, guys. If we reach 500, we're gonna have another review of your ship. And, yeah. Guys, send me more of your ships. If you guys want me to find them easier, try the new hashtag on my, uh, thing. Do hashtag rice game in iOS so I can find them easier. Or just send it to my Twitter. You can do any. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. Send me your more of your ships. You guys make awesome and epic ships. See you later, guys.